What will change for me and be so wonderful? Do, do, do. It's all for real. I'm telling you just how it feels. So got the members of your nation. It's your time to be. It's your chance to let you take one. And then I've seen you inside of every situation. And it's meant to be. So give me your best and leave the rest of me. Can you at least say happy birthday to Red? Happy birthday, Raven. I got to No, no. <laughs> hey, man, it's your brother's birthday today. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, anyway happy, happy birthday, Red. Here we go. Um, okay, number one. Um, so we've done these four. We're looking for perfect square roots. The numbers we're always looking for are any of these numbers, right? We're looking for 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, so forth and so on. These are my perfect square numbers, right? So, square to 24, I'm going to break it down into what two numbers? What two numbers? Four and six, because four is a perfect square. Now, you can use three and eight, but that won't do you any good, right? Square to four is two. So the answer is just 2 squared to 6. You don't break down 6 because 6 is a really ugly decimal number, so we just leave it as square to 6. You can try to calculate square to 6 is a bad number, okay? okay. Uh, number 2, um, the 3 is already there, so leave the 3 on the outside. But the 48, there's a couple ways to do 48. You can do 4 and 12. You can because 4 is a perfect number. And then you have to break down 12. I'm going to go and do a bigger number. I'm going to go 16 times 3. 48, a better combination, 16 times 3. If you've done the 4 and 12, it will work, but then you got to break down the 12 later. It's just more work. Oh, I'm going to take half, and we're going to take half of our exponent, so I'm going to change that to an x to the third. Okay, take half of that, right? All right, now, square root of 16 is a 4. x cubed is done. Square root of 3 is another one of those bad numbers. I mean, it's an irrational square root of 3. is a really ugly decimal. We leave it as the square root of 3. I'm going to tie it up and finish it up. 3 times 4 is 12. X cubed square root of 3. Okay, thumbs up so far. We did this yesterday. Hopefully, it's a nice little review of what we did yesterday. If you did it last year, then it's really easy, right? Okay, 3. Now, if I get a big number like 162, anybody have a calculator? Um, so if you get some of these big numbers and you're not sure, watch, watch. So you know if it's in here, probably it'll break down. So one of the things you can do is if you're not sure, you can use and divide it by any of these numbers. See, if it divides evenly by any of these numbers, you know it works. So for instance, if I take 81, just for example, if I take 162 and I divide it by 81, hey, it works, right? So if you can go through any of your perfect squares, right, any of these numbers, and if it divides evenly, then you have a combination. So if it's a big number you can't figure out, just divide out your perfect squares to find out which one goes in evenly. So I know it's going to be a 81 times the square root of 2, and I'm going to take half of that y to the fourth, okay? Take half of that, half of my exponent. So the square root of 81 is... 9, I have a y to the 4th, square root of 2. Okay, that's not so bad. So again, if it's a number you can't figure out, just start dividing it by the perfect squares until you find one that will work. Is that helpful? Okay, number 4. Okay, make it into two separate fractions. It's a square root of 6 over the square root of 49. And I know what the square root of 49 is. It's 7. And there is no square root of 6. It's a nice number. It's just an ugly decimal number, so leave it. It's an ugly, ugly decimal number, so leave it as the square root of 6, okay? That's all i got to do. Okay, number 5. That's the answer, yeah. 5, let's break it up into two parts. Square root of 196 over the square root of x to the 4th. Now again, 196, there's got to be one of these numbers. I'm not sure, so I'm going to say, okay, 196. Let's divide it by, say, 4. Okay, 48, oh, 4 and 49. So maybe 196 is a perfect square. So 
196. What well, do you know? It goes straight to 14. Oh, I like that one. So they're both perfect squares. So it's going to go straight to 14 over x squared. Okay? It is 14. Um, how am I doing so far? Am I going too fast? Or am I okay? Okay. Uh, six. The only thing I have to be careful about is this right here. Before I even do anything, this is not, you can't take half of this. So what I'm going to do, listen carefully, is I'm going to rewrite. I'm going to make it an even number. I'm going to make it x squared and x1, because then I could take half of it. So I'm going to go square root of 49, square root of x squared with a square root of x, okay? And I will, I will take the square root of 49, I will. Um, this one's pretty easy. It's just going to be 8y. Can I see that? Just go straight to 8y. Everybody go okay with that? So I'll go 8y on the bottom because the square root of 64. And I took half, took half of my x. Okay? Now I'm almost there. So I know the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of x squared is x. But this square root of x, we can't do anything with it. This just has to stay the square root of x. And that's going to be over my... 8y. Okay. All right. To do 7, 8, 9, let's write these numbers down. Let's write down 8, 27, 64, 125, 216. I don't think we need to go much bigger than that, but I can try. What? 7 to the third power, 200, 343. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great question. Hannah, these are perfect cube. So we're doing cube roots now. And so we know, now listen, this is nice to have them written down. So I know that 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2. I know that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So the cube root of 27 is 3. I know. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. I know 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So the cube root of 125 is 5. 6 times 6 times 6. So the cube root of uh, 216 is 6. 7 times 7 times 7, right? Cube root of 343 is 7. And you can keep going, but these are pretty much the only ones we'll probably use. Okay, so 40. Well, 40. Use these numbers. Use these numbers. These are my perfect cube roots. 40. What am I going to do? I need to use these numbers. What times what makes 40? 8, eight. eight and 5. Does that make sense? 8 and 5 because there is a cube root of 8. So we have to use these numbers. So I'm going to go, okay, cube root of 8, cube root of 5, right? So because 8 times 5 is 40, but 8's a perfect cube root. We know that the cube root of 8 is 2. So I take the cube root of 8, I get a 2, and the cube root of 5 is some ugly decimal answer in your calculator. Leave it. Just leave it as the cube root of 5. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's not so bad. As long as you have these numbers written down somewhere, or or maybe in your head, you're good to go. Okay, 54. 8 and 7. Um, 8 and 7. Um, 8 times 7, I think, is... 56. 56, yeah. So, so what do you think? Ah. Yes. Zana, thank you. Yes. 20. How about the cube root of 27, cube root of 2? There you go. Thank you, Quinn, also. Cube root of 27 is? Total 3, right? So 27 times 2 is 54. We want 27 because it's a perfect cube root, right? And so then the cube root of 27 is 3 times the cube root of 2. Okay? So you just have to find what times what, but it needs to be one of these perfect cube roots. Okay, number 9. What times what makes 250? 125 and 2. Everybody agree with that? Okay, 125 times 2, so we'll go cube root of a 125 cube root of 2, because the cube root of 125 is 5. five. Good. So we mm -hmm. take the cube root of 125, we get 5, and what's left over is the cube root of 2. Okay? You guys got that? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, 10. This is what we did yesterday also. So 10 what we did yesterday. So you cannot add them. You can multiply anything. You can multiply and divide anything, but you can't add them unless they're the same. These two, that's the square root of 8 and the square root of 2. We can't add them. Yet, we might be able to change this one, right? So what do you know about 8? What tells what makes 8? 4 and 2. Now we're back to square roots, right? 4 and 2, right? We know the square root of 4 is 2, so we get a 3 times a 2 with the square root of 2, right? Okay. Plus 3 square root of 2, right? 3 times 2 is 6. Plus, the land is right. 9 square roots of 2 is the answer. Easy? No. no we did. No? Okay. Okay, slide. You guys ready for me to slide it over? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you unplugged? Why don't you unplug? I think it's going to help if you unplug. There you go. I think it's going to help you a lot if you unplug. Okay, slide over to 11. Okay, now, are they the same? No. Can't add them, but maybe, maybe if we reduce them, we might. Land, give me your phone, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, right. number 11. So what about 18? What are we going to make with 18? 18. 9 and 2. Not 6 and 3 because there's no square to 6. You confused me. Okay, minus. What are we going to do with 8? What about 8? 4 and 2. What about 12? Yeah, square root of 4, square root of 3. Good. Okay, let's simplify from there, right? Um, 2 times 9, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 2, minus, square root of 4 is 2, so 2 square root of 2, right, plus 3 times 2 square root of 3. How am I doing? You're doing great. Awesome, thank you. Okay, let's tidy it up. We've got a 6 square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 3. Now, only add the ones that are the same. These two are the same. So, yep, 4 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 3. That's it. Capiche, right? Don't add or subtract ones that aren't the same. Okay? All right, ready for over? I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. I'm not sure old yeah, I'm sorry, Landon. I don't. It was so hot. It was either super hot or else super cold. Yeah. And bugs. Flies and bugs. And... Okay, number 12. Okay, so listen carefully. So, in number 12, and it's a rule, it's actually not a very good rule, but it's a rule of mathematics. They'll say you cannot have a squirt in the denominator, okay? That's the rule. It's not a very good rule. In college, you'll have some professors that don't care, but most of them will. Most of them make the rule that you can't have a square root in the denominator. Yeah, Ellie. Uh, no, you can't have any root. You cannot have, so you can't have a root, any root in the denominator. Okay, so how do you do it? So you fix the problem with the problem. Listen, fix the problem with the problem. So the problem is square root of 3. So we're going to fix it with the problem. What's the problem? Square root of 3. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by the problem. Okay, let me rephrase what I just said. You cannot have a square root in the bottom. You can't. So the problem is the square root of 3, so you fix the problem with the problem. So I pro fix the problem, square root of 3 over square root of 3. Now, how is that going to help? Well, I don't know. Let's do a little bit of math, okay? Let's go ahead and multiply. We're going to get a 5 square root of 3 on the top. But on the bottom, we're going to get the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is... 3, isn't it? So and then we get a 5 square root of 3 over 3. Now, do not divide these two. Do not. Do not. Do not divide these two. This is not a 3. This is not a 3. This is 1.73 blah, blah, blah. This is not 3. Do not divide these. This is 1.73 yucky, yucky, blah, blah, blah. That is your answer. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Number 13, okay, change this first to the square root of 9, 
over the square root of 5, right? Which is really going to be... Wait, isn't it a square root of 5? Which is really going to be 3 over the square root of 5. Now, you have a problem. Well, we, we all have lots of problems, but beside that, you know, you can't have a square in the bottom, right? So fix the problem with the problem. Multiply by square root of 5, square root of 5, right? When you do that, you'll get a 3 square root of 5. Oh, that's dead. You'll get a 3 square root of 5 over the square root of 25. So the problem is going to fix itself, isn't it? But we still have a root. Almost. Almost. So we got a 3 squared of 5 over 5. Now, squared on the top, squared on the top is okay. Squared on the top is okay. Again, it, I'll answer it one more time. It's a silly rule. No, it's great. It's a silly rule. So the rule is you can't on the bottom. It's a great question, Annie. Why does it matter? For most of it, it doesn't, but it's just one of those really math rules, okay? It's just a silly math rule, okay? And in college, you may have some professors that don't care. Most of them do. Anyway. Okay, 14, same kind of stuff. Let's check out 14. I have really square root of 2 over square root of 3, okay? Yes. I'm going to do that right now, aren't I? So, what's the problem? Square root of three. So, how do we fix the problem? Square root of three, square root of three. Okay. And Ellie said, let's just multiply. Square root times square root is a square root. So, Ellie, you're right. We're going to get the square root of six over the square root of nine, right? Square root of six over the square root of nine. Because I do multiply the square roots, right? Square root of six is a bad, ugly decimal number, so leave it. Square root of 6 is a bad, ugly, two-point, blah, blah, blah. So I'll leave it as the square root of 6 over 3. Do not divide these. Do not. Do not, do not divide these. This is not 6. This is not 6. Not. This is a two-point, blah, 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 ugly decimal. Leave it. Okay? Yes. Okay, number five, 15. Okay, how am I doing? Doing great. So, square root of 18 Square root of 5, right? Now, before I do anything, though, before I do anything, I can do something to that 18, can't I? Yes, you can. Okay. Square root of 9, square root of 2 over <laughs> square root of 5, right? Right? Okay, so I broke down 18. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 2 over the square root of 5. But we've got to fix the problem, right? We've got to fix the problem. So multiply top and bottom by the square root of 5, square root of 5, and I get 3 square root of 10 over the square root of 25, right? Which is 3 square root of 10 over 5. And again, I'm going to say do not divide those. Don't divide those. That's not really 10. That's about a 3.1 something or other. 3.1? I don't know. Calculate, tell me something like that. Okay, 16. How am I doing? Okay, we got two more to do. Two more to do. Okay, 16. You ready? Okay, 16 is old stuff. We're going to distribute. We're going to go that times that, that times that. That's the answer, that, Hannah, right that makes there. Sense, you know. So we're going to distribute. 2 square root of 3 times 3 square root of 6 is a 6 square root of 18, okay? 6 square root of 18. Plus 2 square root of 3 times 3 square root of 3 is a 6 square root of 9. You okay with that? So you ready? Whole numbers with whole numbers, square root numbers with square root numbers, okay? Just multiplying. Uh, 18, can I do something with 18? Yes. 9 and 2 <laughs> plus 6 times plan 3, right? Plan 3. You guys agree with that? Plan 3. 6 times 3, because I took the square root of 9, times the square root of 2 plus 18. Okay? Oh, God. Now, 
that's an 18. Yeah, it's bad with an 18. So now I'm running out of room. So over here I'll have a 18 squared to 2 plus 18. Do not add them. Do not, do not, do not, do not add them. They're different. They're different. Don't add them unless they're the same. Okay. 17, last one. You ready to foil? I'm ready to foil. Okay, so. When 2 squared to 5 times 3 squared to 5 is a 6 squared to 25. Okay? 2 squared to 5 times negative 1 is a negative 2 squared to 5. Okay? Multiply the whole numbers and then bring along the square roots. Actually, it's an energy, not a whole number. Okay? Then, inside, 3 times 3 or th is 9 squared to 5. And then finally, the last. Yep. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative three. How am I doing? Okay, so let's tidy it up. Let's finish it up. Six times five. These two can make a pause of seven squared to five. I can combine those two. I can combine those two. It's not that bad, is it? No. Uh, 30, right? 30 plus seven squared to five minus three. How am I doing? Plus seven. And I'm just about done. So 30 minus 3 is a 27 plus 7 squares of 5. Do not add them. They're not the same. Do not, do not, do not. Sure. How's that? You got it there? Now, you have an assignment on the computer. And if you need to know how to do the tessellations, 